Lesson 3, Unit 5, Risk Management. A risk is a potential event or occurrence that could adversely affect the achievement of desired results. They represent the potential for unwanted events impairing the achievement of the project objectives. All risks that have a potential for disrupting the project need to be identified. The information will be used to determine the actions to mitigate their impact. This definition uses the word potential, which is a probability that the risk may or may not occur. This probability makes the management of risk even more critical, as there is no certainty that an event will occur, when it will occur, and what will be its true impact on the project. Risk management is identification, assessment, and prioritization of risks that includes application of resources to minimize, monitor, and control the probability and or the impact of a risk. Risks are part of the nature of development projects. All projects have risk associated in their implementation, and it's good practice that the project manager sets up a process to identify, quantify, manage, and control risk. Risk management follows a cyclical process that consists of four steps. The identification of risk, the qualitative and quantitative analysis of risk, the development of strategies to mitigate risk, and monitoring the risk. The process is continuous. As the project makes progress, new risk will be identified, and with additional information, some risk will need to be analyzed again. The first step is to identify all potential risk, and that requires a team approach. The project manager can organize a meeting with team members and some stakeholders to identify all the potential events that can cause a harm to the project. Some of the factors that can be a source or risk are the in internal and the external environment. Participants to the session will use the brainstorming technique to identify all the potential events that can cause a negative impact to the project. The next step is to analyze risk based on the levels of impact and probability. Probability is the likelihood that an event can occur. And impact is the effect that the event can have on the project. Each risk can be ranked using a simple scale of high, medium, and low. The risk management matrix is a simple table to organize all risk and their levels of probability and impact. The table contains the following columns. Description of the risk, the level of probability and impact levels, the risk response strategy, which is based on the risk factor, and the risk owner, who is the person responsible for the actions required to respond to the risk event. Once all the risks have been identified and their levels of probability and impact qualified, the project manager can use that information to create a simple risk map that will help visualize all the risks in the project. The risk map is a tree by tree grid. On the horizontal axis are the values for impact. On the vertical axis are the values for probability. The risk can be positioned on the respected area of the grid. In this example, one can see that most of the risks are in the low risk area but there are two risks that are on the high area and they will require special attention. Risk mitigation strategies are actions the project will take to reduce the impact of the risk event on the project. There are basically three types of actions available. Avoid the risk, which is to adjust the project plans to eliminate or reduce the risk. Mitigate the risk, is to implement actions to minimize the impact of the risk. And accept the risk is to make a deliberate decision to accept the risk without engaging in special efforts to control it. Risk avoidance is elimination or avoidance of the risk by changing the parameters of the project. Due to the high probability and high impact, the best action is to act immediately. The project team should devise immediate actions to eliminate the risk by a change in the schedule, approach, location, or activity in the project so that the risk in question disappears or is reduced to an acceptable level. For example, 
high probability that the use of a drilling equipment will not work in some areas of the projects. That risk can be avoided by renting specialized equipment. It may cost more than the original option, but the risk is eliminated. Mitigate or transfer the risk is for those risks that have a medium level of probability and impact. Here, the goal is to reduce the impact of the risk on the project. The project team will identify the actions to reduce the impact of the risk by changing some parameters in the project or by developing alternatives or contingency plans in case the risk event does occur. The cost and effort of the actions to mitigate the risk should not be higher than the cost of the risk impact to the project. For example, a probability of delays in the transportation of equipment can be mitigated by creating the purchase orders much earlier than what was originally planned. When the level of probability and impact are low, the best action is to accept the risk. Here the project team makes a cost analysis. The cost of implementing any actions to avoid or mitigate this type of risk may be higher than the cost of the impact of the risk in the project. The project manager may decide not to do anything for these types of risk, but should monitor them regularly for any changes in the level of probability or impact. For example, the risk event might cause a delay of three days to the project, which can be within the scheduled buffer limits. The actions to avoid it may cause more than the three-day delay. In the risk register, the last column identifies the risk owner. This is the person responsible for taking the actions to avoid, mitigate, and monitor the risk. The risk owner should be capable of managing the risk and have the knowledge, resources, and authority to deal with the risk. The risk owner is the person who is best placed to understand and implement what needs to be done. The risk owner reports on the progress and results of the actions to manage the risk to the project manager. Continuous monitoring by the project manager and the project team ensures that new and changing risks are detected and managed and that the risk response actions are implemented and are effective. Due to its probabilistic nature, risk can and will change the levels of probability and impact. As more information is obtained, there is a better understanding of the risk identified in the early stages of the project. The project manager should seek to update the original risk register on a regular basis, especially when the project has identified many risks. Risk monitoring continues for the life of the project. Risk management is like an insurance policy. It's a proactive approach to deal with the many uncertainties of development projects. It reduces the liabilities of the project and the loss of critical resources that can limit the achievement of the intended results. The nature of development projects not only requires, but demands for a sound risk management approach.